Hello and welcome. My name's Nathaniel, and I'm a wedding videographer in South Dakota. Up until this video, I've just used my channel as another platform, you know, to put my wedding videos on. I'm gonna try something different and start putting myself on camera more often to share some tips I have for other wedding videographers. That being said, why should you care about what I have to say? I've been filming weddings for three years and have been able to travel across South Dakota, North Dakota, Wyoming, and Iowa for weddings. Before I got into the wedding industry, I was involved in everything from sports videography, TV commercials, brand videos, real estate, and even TV shows. So I like to at least think I know what I'm talking about and hopefully you'll find at least some of what I have to say helpful. For this first video, I wanna share something that I see just about every wedding videographer do that is a major pet peeve of mine. And if you stop doing this one thing with your wedding videos, your work's gonna be so much better. I've watched wedding videos from across the country and internationally from videographers of all skill levels. It doesn't matter where they come from or how talented they are, just about every wedding videographer I've noticed is doing this one very silly thing. Filming their couples and other people at the wedding who are obviously posing for photos. Why? Why do wedding videographers think that filming their couple standing still and smiling at the photographer's lens makes good footage for their video? As videographers, we have the ability to capture motion. So why aren't you doing that? And no, you moving your gimbal around people who are cheesing it up for the photographer does not make that shot any better. I'm not saying that you need to have your couple do jumping jacks for every shot, and of course, the context of the scene does matter. If you're filming your couple in front of an epic view and having them look at it, of course they're gonna be relatively motionless while soaking it all in. But even in instances like that, you can prompt the couple to wrap their arms around one another and film that action happening. Have the couple share a quick glance at each other or prompt the groom to kiss his bride on the side of her head. Even the smallest moments can bring your otherwise boring, just piggybacking off a photographer shot to life in big ways. That brings me to my next point. Do not just follow the photographer's lead the entire time. That's not what the couple's paying you for. Yes, there are some circumstances and photos a photographer is gonna capture that require their subjects to physically move, but you cannot rely on the photographer's prompt the entire wedding day. Don't be afraid to speak up and direct your couple, the wedding party, and anyone else if necessary. If the wedding photographer is a decent human being, they're not gonna care if you jump in with some prompts that are more oriented toward video. In fact, that's a chance for the photographer to get some photos they might not have thought of otherwise. That allows you to become a true collaborator with them instead of a leech. If you're also worried about time and taking too long to get everything you need, don't be. When you work in tandem with the photographer and get into a flow, the two of you will seamlessly navigate different poses and prompts. Obviously, you shouldn't take 30 takes of the couple doing the same thing, but just a quick direction of, now kiss him on the cheek, or whisper a really bad dad joke in your ear takes like five seconds. I'm gonna do some more videos that address this topic, but I think a lot of this comes down to wedding videographers thinking they need to literally do everything the photographer does. You don't, you're not the photographer. You're paid to provide an entirely different product than the photo gallery your couple's gonna get. With the power you have to not only capture motion, but pair that with sound, you are in an incredible position to create a beautiful keepsake for your clients. You simply can't do that by copying a photographer all day. Well, that's it for this video, so thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to like this video and comment with any feedback you have and might want to see me talk about going forward. See y'all next time.